President Trump is pushing for schools to reopen this fall, even threatening to withhold funding to school systems that refuse to open classrooms. Well, here in Central Ohio, students in Hilliard are supposed to go back to school exactly six weeks from today. What that first day will look like? Well, it just hasn't been determined, but we do know it will be much different from years before. NBC4's Eric Halperin is in Hilliard tonight, and Eric, right now a few different possibilities are on the table. Carrie, there's a closed sign up here right now, but depending on which option the district decides to go with, there could be students walking through these doors for in-person learning in six weeks. There's also an option for online learning or an option for some of both. Upcoming Hilliard second grader Liam Height is hoping he can be back in the classroom this school year. Because I do not want to stay in my house a lot. He's enjoying the summer after what was a challenging spring. Like students across the state, he lost months of class time because of COVID-19. The spring was tough. Uh, it was definitely tough. His dad, Billy, says it took more than a month to figure out how his son learned best from home. Now, all eyes are on the upcoming school year. The sane parent in me wants them to be at school so that I can also be sane. Um, but we also understand the situation. Rising yeah, senior Ben Curry wants it. to be back in school too. I'd rather be in school than e-learning because be around friends and everything. Last year of school and then you move on to college. There's a chance he, Liam, and the rest of Hilliard's 17,000 students could be in class. The district is looking at several return to school options depending on what's happening with the coronavirus. The all in plan, which would have students in class in person five days a week with health and safety measures in place. A hybrid plan, which would be a mix between in person and e learning. Or a third option, which would be all e learning. During Thursday's Board of Education meeting, the Franklin County Health Commissioner expressed approval for the plan, and Hilliard Superintendent Dr. John Marshhausen took questions from the board, saying he'll continue to rely on health experts. We're going to keep pushing to try to get to Orange, and we want all of our kids in school. I want everybody to know that's what we want. And he plans um, to ask the board to vote on which option to go with at the next meeting on July 27th. A decision community members are anxiously awaiting. We made it through the first time. If we have to do it again, we'll make it through. Now, regardless of which option the district decides, Hilliard will have an online academy. If families want to sign up for that, the last day they can sign up is July 24th. Live and local for you in Hilliard, I'm Eric Alpern, NBC4. Eric